Hey everyone, so in this video, we are going to take a look at adding an SSL certificate for free to an existing site you already have. So this follows up on the last video I did in starting a website in less than 10 minutes. And so the assumption is gonna be that you were using uh, the same host as I am, the same website host, or that your host offers the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your site. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I'm in the back of my test site here. There is no SSL involved with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my C panel, which is where we control everything. Remember, I told you about 90% of this you will not need to use, and that's still the case. So what you can do is you can scroll around all these places, or you can just come up here, type in let and we want to open up the let's encrypt ssl and this is a free ssl certificate that's come out in the last year and my host and several other high quality hosts allow you to just add it in and it will auto renew every three months and the great thing is is it encrypts your site it gets you that https that everyone's looking for but it doesn't cost you any money so all you have to do is come over here and issue it and it will do it at the www as well as as well as mail um, so it will be at jesjewelry.com www.jesjewelry.com and mail.jesjewelry.com and uh, it also installs it for your email uh, but that is kind of beyond what we're talking about right now so if we hit issue So as you can see, the SSL certificate is now installed on the domain and they're restarting the server in the background. You go back and if we go ahead and click here and still no SSL. So why is that? So if we were to come in here and type in HTTPS colon front 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 slash and hit enter you're going to see it actually does have the HTTP now. We log back in and it's going to be HTTP. But at the same time, we're also showing no HTTP. And the reason being is, according to the system, the way it's set up, both addresses are available, both the HTTP and the HTTPS. So what we need to do is tell WordPress, we no longer want to use HTTP. We want to only use the encrypt. And so the easiest way to do that is a handy, trusty plugin. So if we come into plugins here, which are our little modules that allow us to update the system and add new. And let's do a search for SSL to see if I can find the plugin we're talking about, which I believe is called Really Simple SSL, which is right here. If we install that now, and we activate that now, right? What we can do is we can go ahead and activate the SSL. And what that will do is it will change, make all the changes that we need. So if we go to hello, add it in, right? It's now made the changes for us. So if we go to JES Jewelry, you can see it automatically takes us to the secure. Now there's one little thing I want to do because sometimes if you're already an existing site and you have a lot of links in there already, there may be some that are not encrypted. And so I go to another plugin. Called search and replace. So we're going to use this one here. Search activate it so if we come over to tools search and replace 
And what this allows us to do is to search for anything that shows HTTP colon front slash front slash our domain name and replace it with the HTTPS. And what we're going to do is we'll select the table. We're just going to do a dry run. And there are 12, uh, four cells that need to be updated. So if we view the details of that, you're going to see here, there's a few in your database that are still showing that HTTP, right? And the new value would replace it with this right here, right? And so if we go ahead, we do this not as a dry run, but do search and replace, it's now replaced those. So when it's all said and done, everything is now underneath that HTTPS here. And that's the easiest way to go about converting your website to HTTPS colon front slash front slash for the SSL to figure. So hopefully this helps you convert things over. It's really quite easy. Uh, those plugins don't take up a lot of headroom, so they're not taking up a lot of space. And this is the easiest way I found to add an SSL certificate after the fact. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, got a lot out of it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, that will help you out. And I will be continuing to make videos as we go along.